The ELO2 must be cleaned and disinfected between patients. This should take place as soon as possible after use. The reprocessing steps can be found in the disinfection manual or on the swing tag. These steps must be carried out between patients, cleaning, high-level disinfection and storage. Cleaning is particularly important. You need to remove debris so that disinfection works effectively. It's easiest if you leave the EVO2 on the mobile pole stand. Switch off the unit and unplug from the mains utility power socket. Remove the breathing tube, water chamber and water bag and safely dispose of them. For cleaning, you will need a cleaning sponge stick, approved cleaning wipes, a clean damp lint-free cloth and an approved cleaning solution. Follow the manufacturer's instructions when using any cleaning solution, diluting it if necessary before use. Avoid toxic, abrasive or corrosive cleaners that may damage the EVO2. The disinfection manual or your local Fisher & Paykel office can provide advice on appropriate cleaning products. The most important part to clean is the outlet elbow between the right chamber port and breathing tube port. Do not clean the left-hand chamber port, as this can damage the non-return valve located at this port. First, dip the cleaning sponge stick in a solution of warm water and mild detergent. Thoroughly clean the outlet elbow from both ends as far as possible, continuously rotating the sponge stick. Rinse the cleaning sponge stick under running water and using the same rotation action, remove any residue from the outlet elbow. Discard the cleaning sponge stick. If using a disposable cloth, thoroughly clean the outlet elbow from both ends as far as possible, continuously rotating the cloth with your finger. Use an alcohol wipe or apply an alcohol solution to a clean, damp, disposable lint-free cloth to wipe the outside surfaces of the unit. The next step is high-level disinfection using the red disinfection tube. This process heats the outlet elbow to at least 87 degrees Celsius for more than 30 minutes. Minimise the risk of cross-contamination by starting the disinfection cycle immediately after cleaning. First, connect the red disinfection tube to the EVO2. One end of the disinfection tube has a blue plastic connector. Lift the sleeve and slide the connector onto the unit. Push the sleeve down to lock. Connect the red end of the disinfection tube to the left-hand chamber port and push fully into position. Then fix the blue filter cap securely onto the right chamber port. The EVO2 is ready for disinfection. Connect the power cable to the mains utility power socket and start the disinfection cycle by holding the on-off button for three seconds until the unit beeps. The EVO2 will turn on and run a series of calibration checks, raising an alarm if any problems are detected. For example, you may be prompted to change the air filter. If so, remove the filter cover from the back of the EVO2, discard the old filter and insert a new one. Make sure the filter cover is properly attached. Once everything checks out, the disinfection cycle will begin. It will take 55 minutes to complete and the display will count down the time remaining. If any problems arise during disinfection, start the cycle again. If the problem persists, refer to the disinfection manual for more information. Once the countdown reaches zero, the disinfection cycle has completed successfully and the disinfection number is displayed. Finally, turn the EVO2 off by holding down the power button. Disinfection is complete. You can remove the disinfection tube at this stage and seal the EVO2 with a clean storage cover. If you are not using the clean storage cover, you may prefer to leave the disinfection tube in place for storage. In either case, it is best to leave the EVO2 on the stand to protect it from bumps and knocks. Write your name, the disinfection date and the disinfection number on the space provided on the clean storage cover. Store the unit and disinfection kit in an area suitable for medical devices which is clean, dry and dust free. 
never store the unit until it has been cleaned and disinfected. The Evo 2 is now ready for the next patient.